Olá você! Seja muito bem-vindo ao canal do YouTube SolidWorks Curso. Eu sou Rodrigo Chiosini e a partir de agora seguimos juntos aqui no YouTube com mais uma videoaula. No vídeo de hoje eu vou trazer para você o que está vindo aí de novidade na versão 2018 do SolidWorks. Então, se você já gostou dessa ideia, clica aqui embaixo no gostei e compartilhe esse vídeo com seus amigos e colegas de trabalho. E se for a primeira vez que você está assistindo um vídeo meu aqui no canal, não esqueça de clicar aqui embaixo no botão vermelho inscrever-se para você não perder mais nenhuma notificação de quando sair vídeo novo no canal. Então, sem mais delongas, vamos aí às novidades do SolidWorks 2018. Now you can build in all the design intent you need, right from the start. That's really great, Lord Percy. It's going to be a real bonus when designing symmetric parts, especially when using a 3D sketch as a base feature. It's a great start, but what else you got? Well, my good man, for the next part, I'm going to switch to my magnificent Microsoft Surface Book and show you a fantastic new tool that will enable me to design some weight-saving cutouts for this rocker bracket. No time at all. Using a fabulous new set of tools available on the command manager, you can now capture your design ideas even faster when using a touchscreen device by freehand sketching with a pen or stylus directly at the sketch. As you sketch on the screen, your pen strokes are captured and converted to sketch on the In relation to the this consensus guard can be automatically inferred, and the result can be manipulated and modified just like any other sketch. And then used to create regular features, just like his pockets. Wow, Lord Percy, that's amazing. <laughs> it's a real time saver compared to sketching out ideas on paper first, and it's even faster than using a mouse. Yeah, I agree. The, the ability to do it straight on the screen, right there in SolidWorks, and use it to create new features on a model like you're showing, it's going to save a whole bunch of time. What do you guys think? It's really cool. I love it. I can't wait to get my hands on that. Well done, Lord Percy. Check out this mint new welcome screen in SolidWorks 2018. There are links to resources like tech support, my SolidWorks. You can create new parts, assemblies, drawings, and of course, access to your recent files like this wonderful drop printer from our friends at Idea Factory Adamas. And what about this new assembly progress bar? You can now see exactly where SolidWorks is getting up to getting your design sorted out. Oh, that's nice. So now you know how long it's going to take. Yeah, I'm on top banana. You're dead right, Grandad. We've also overhauled the performance evaluation tool. You can now see a whole host of information indicating which components are slowing you down. For example, there is a couple of toolbox parts here say with very high display quality. Total madness, man. And take a look at this. The assembly visualization tool gives you in your face performance information like, you know, load times and rebuild times. The color coding really shows up those bad boys that are giving you. Now, I just love mouse gestures. Honestly, I do. And now, you've got up to 12 of them right there at your fingertips. Bang and tidy. Now, let's use one to zoom right in on this level handle. Now, it can always be a right click selecting obstructed surfaces. Well, now, when you're adding a maze, forget using select other, just use the alt key to hide this front surface so you can get to the back surface and get this part in place fast. Our 3D Interconnect in 2018 has a whole bunch of new enhancements in SolidWorks. For example, let's take a look at this snowblower that me and my cousin Jim Bob have been working on. We need to add a new assembly that's in step format. And with 3D Interconnect, we can now directly insert a whole bunch of new neutral file formats like STEM, IGES, ACES, and even JT. 
And once they're inserted, they're treated just like any other SolidWorks file, meaning we can easily mitigate the plates. You'll even notice it contains the entire assembly structure in the free feature manager. So, Billy, were all those files created automatically for you? Well, sir, that's the best part. There's no files created at all. SolidWorks just references the step file itself. Now, let's take a look at another example with this engine that's in JT format. My cousin Jim Bob forgot to put the output shaft on it, so we sent me a new file. Now, all I've got to do is right click and choose Update Model. The 3D Interconnect updates all the geometry and the file structure without worrying about creating any files on disk. Now, we can make this pulley that my cousin Betty Jo designed in that other CAD program. Which, speaking of, we now also support new types of geometry for, such as curves and unconsumed sketches from other CAD programs and neutral files. These are just dandy for creating in-context features like these belts. Keen and I can get to finish in this design. Sounds like there's a lot of great stuff from 3D Interconnect in Java 2018, Billy. Yes, sir, but that ain't all. I got one more thing I was fixing to show you. 3D Interconnect files now also support custom properties. This is super duper important for things like the building materials. Here, you can see the numbers and descriptions for the different components we've open used in 3D Interconnect. Wow. I thought I was impressed when you showed uh, opening other CAD files in SOLIDWORKS 2017. But with the support of different files in 2018, it's like SOLIDWORKS can open just about anything. And that'll sure make it easy to use vendor files. Wow! Well, I think that is amazing! I know! Everybody got a big, huge round of applause there, Chuck Measure! 3D Interconnect! Well done! Wow! Great job! Fingers crossed for you. Fingers crossed for you. Like your mom said, you are a savant. Yes, ma'am. I'll stay you all. Sure. Yes. You are. You are! Fans? Like creating fixtures for manufacturing? Total bummer. That's why so many designers are implementing self-fixturing design techniques. SolidWorks 2018 introduces powerful tab and slot tool to automate this design step. Tab and slot can be, can be created on single parts, multi-body parts, or in an assembly like this 3D printer enclosure. All you gotta do is just pick an edge to start defining the tab and the face where the slot terminates. Edge offsets and tab length added are added. Corner treatments, you know, like fillets and chamfers, those can be applied too. Finally, the slot clearance, that's added right here too. Creates both features in both parts right to these specifications. Righteous. And dude, making changes to existing designs, existing tabs, it's crazy simple. For example, for example, Tabs can be added on this change down the side just by changing the number of instances. Wow, Ted, that's a huge cost saving, not having to build a fixture. Hold all those parts together for welding. No doubt. But just chill a second. I got a little more to show you, man. To document these changes, we use the revision table. Take a look at this, dude. The revision number is shown with an asterisk because the change hasn't been approved yet. Comments can be added to the revision table but the approved field, that remains blank. Cool. When, when the drawing gets checked into SOLIDWORKS PDM, all the data gets extracted from the drawing, including the info from the revision table. And after the drawing does get approved, the workload transition sets the revision number, the approver the updates the drawing fields on the drawing. The revision table, revision callouts, item blocks in, everything is up to date. Actually, a specially commissioned pre-checked pilot boat containing over 8,000 components. Just so look at all that detail. Every component is graphics only, making it super quick to load. Now, we've had a report that this rescue platform doesn't retract all the way up to vertical. In SOLIDWORKS 2018, you can now work in a mixed environment of graphics and resolved objects. Resolving the platform from the right mouse button lets me see the problem for myself. To help us sort this out, we can now grab a couple of other parts from totally different sub-assemblies and set those to resolve, or even lightweight. Now the rest of the boat is just getting in the way, so you can just turn it off. Simple. It's pretty nice, Ch uh, uh, Lord Percy. It's really nice. Remember, Mark, we're still working on the top level assemblies. So let's take okay, more time designing and less time waiting for things to load. Definitely a winner. 
as we face as engineers is creating connectors for our assemblies. These components must balance strength, weight, and form. The first concept is often a basic functional shape like this rocker, followed by many iterations of prototypes. SOLIDWORKS 2018 introduces generative design to speed up the process of optimizing topology. Using the intuitive simulation workflow, you can quickly add connections and forces. For generative design, you then specify your goal. In this case, we want to remove mass while maintaining stiffness. You can also add manufacturing controls like wall thickness, symmetry, frozen regions that must be maintained. Generative design works independent of how the part is modeled and instead works directly on the geometry. When finished, results show regions that must be kept and those you can remove. And using simulation display, you can overlay the results on your model and speed up the process of completing your design. Go from a functional concept to a finished design in a single step using generative design. That's amazing power to speed the design process. Então pessoal, é isso aí. Eu espero que vocês tenham gostado do vídeo. Também estou muito ansioso para experimentar essa versão 2018 do SolidWorks. E agora o que nos resta é aguardar. Se você gostou desse vídeo, não esqueça de deixar o seu like e também compartilhar ele com seus amigos e colegas de trabalho. Mais uma vez, se você é novo aqui no canal, não esqueça de se inscrever para você não perder mais nenhuma novidade. Muito obrigado pela sua atenção e até a próxima!